Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitex Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the script activity. So, what is the script activity? So, for using the script activity, you can execute a common operation with DML queries, DDL queries, DML statements are like select, update, insert, let users retrieve, store, modify, delete, inserting anything that we can do inside the SQL Server that we can achieve by using the script activity. And here we can also create, alter or drop the tables and we can modify the existing one or we can also create or update or delete any indexes and users as well. So such type of functionality is available under the Azure Data Factory on script activity. Next is script activity can be used to verify of purposes. First, we can truncate table or view in preparation of inserting data. Next, we can create, alter or drop database objects such as table or view that we have already discussed in previous slide. Then we can recreate the fact and dimension tables before loading the data into them. We can also run the store procedure here. So in the previous videos we have seen about the store procedure activity so in the stored procedure activity we can only use the store procedure but in the script task we can use the store procedure as well as the other database object created or deleted options last is the use the row set result set return from a query to the downstream activity so this option we can also use like we can write any query and we can use that result set in the downstreams and here are the supported data stores so first is the azure sql database second is the azure snaps analytics next is sql server database next is oracle and last is the snowflake so these are the supported data stores so go to on the browser and we'll try to implement this script activity in practical so here first let me try to understand about the requirement so inside the ssms we are having one of the table that we have created in the previous videos which is the fail pipeline detail so this table is there so in this video we just want to drop this table in one task and next we just want to create this table so basically go back to the browser and here let me try to add a new pipeline so let me call this as script activity now here we can search for the script activity so we can drag and drop the script activity here and let me call this as drop table so we just want to drop the table from here go back to the settings and here we just need to specify the link service so we have already created the link service in the previous video so i am going to use the same that is the link service for SSU project. Now here we have to specify the script. So under the script we have two options. First is the query and second is the non-query. So here we can see this information so for the query. So it is saying database statements that return one or more result set. Next is the non-query. So inside the non-query it will be the database statements that perform catalog operations. For example querying the structure of the database or the creating database objects such as table or changing that update insert or delete so we just want to drop that so we have to use the non query here and let me try to copy the query that we have already written for dropping the table so let me try to copy it and here let me paste it so this will be going to drop the table now in the next activity we just want to create this table which is going to drop here so we can connect with this and let me call this as create table go back to the setting and here again we need to select the link service now here we have to specify the query so we just want to create the table so let me try to copy this and go back to here and paste it there so everything looks okay let me try to execute it so first it will be dropping the table and second it will be creating the table so we can refresh it so here drop table is completed now it is creating the table so we can refresh so it is executed successfully so here we can go and we'll try to 
see the table should be there but table will not have any data so as we can see it does not have any data but we did not verify whether it is working or not so how we can verify that let me add a wait activity in between so this wait activity is pausing the pipeline execution for 10 seconds now let me try to debug it again so here it will be going to drop the table and waiting for 10 seconds and after that it will be creating the table so here drop table is executing now so it is executed successfully now we can go in the ssms and we'll try to see so table is not there as we can see invalid object name so it is on wait so we can refresh it so wait is completed so now table is going to create so once this activity will be completing your table will be inside the sql server so we can go and here we can check table is there so this is what we can do by using the script activity so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos if you are having any doubt then you can comment your questions in the comment box see you in the next video